Hey, welcome back. So for this video, we're going to go ahead and make this hand scanner right here. Notice that it is one part composed of fills, lofts, sketches, and whatever else. All right. So to go ahead and get started, make sure you click here to create your document. Make sure your units are in millimeters. So here's my document. So I'll make a copy. I'm checking my units, workspace units, millimeters. I'm good to go. For step two, we're going to show sketch three and hide everything else. Hide, hide, hide four, hide five. Make sure we have our front view and our top view. We're going to select extrude. So click extrude. We're choosing this space here. We're going up 50 millimeters. So go ahead and select 50 millimeters and accept that. So once again, 50 millimeters, upwards surface, new and accept. For step three, we're hiding everything and only showing sketch four and sketch two. So hide, show, show, and let's go ahead and hide our surface that we just created. So here we're selecting sweep. Edges and sketch curves to sweep. We're selecting this edge here. Select sweep path. We're selecting this path up here. Notice that we're in surface and new and we just accept. For step four, we're going to move our boundary. So go to this drop down menu here, select move boundary. We're selecting this edge and this edge here. And notice we're going outwards. If yours is going inwards, select outwards to elongate the surface. And we're going with the value of 26 millimeters and accept. For step five, we're going to use a split tool. So go ahead and show both surfaces. So we'll go ahead and select split. We're selecting this surface here. And then our entity to split with is this surface right here that's vertical. And go ahead and accept. Notice we do not have check tool. We didn't check this, do not check this. And we're keeping both sides. So our surface went away, so we're good to go. Now we're going to delete our part, so select delete part. So now we're deleting this surface here and accept. For step seven, we're going to project the curve. So we're only seeing sketch five and one. So go ahead and hide your surface. So at this point, let's hide this. So we have sketch one and sketch five. Let's go ahead and hide sketch two. So once again, we only see sketch one and sketch five. So for this step, we're going to the plane menu and we're selecting projected curve. Our first sketch is this one. And then our second sketch will be this one here. And go ahead and accept. For step eight, we're only seeing sketch two on the surface. So hide sketch five, sketch one. We see sketch two and our surface. And go ahead and hide this curve as well. So now let's rearrange into the front view. We're going to create a drawing here. So we're just creating one spline. So go ahead and select sketch. And this will be in our front plane, so select front plane. So notice it is sketch six, front plane. And I get a spline, I select this point here, and then this point down here. So this is now coincidental. And I click the escape to get out of that, or this. So now let's move this up. This up like that. We're going to show our constraints. So let's make this. We're going to make this tangent to this line up here. Let's go ahead and select tangent. We're making this tangent to this line. So select this. We're going to draw a construction line from this point to this point. And then also on the spline handle here. We're going to use the dimensioning tools. So we're going to dimension this to have a value of 7.9. And this will have a value of 2.5. And we're good to go. So go ahead and accept. For step nine, we're going to extrude this, this spline here. So go ahead and show sketch two. We're already showing sketch two. Let's hide the surface. So click on extrude 
we have surface, we have new, we're selecting this curve right here. Notice we want this going in the opposite direction. So that's good right there. This will have a value of 26. Surface new. And we accept. All right, so for step 10, make sure we are on, so we're splitting the two surfaces. So we're going to select split. Make sure you select face, face to split are these two. And entities to split with will be our right plane. And notice we still have our two surfaces. So go ahead and accept that. For step 11, we're going to only show these items and reorient our drawing. So go ahead and show the construction surface. So construction surface is this one down here. I don't know why they call it that, but they call it construction surface. So let's rename it. And accept it. So we want the projected curve and sketch two. So let's hide sketch six. Let's show sketch two. And we want to see our curve. So there we go. We're also going to be working on plane one. So let's show plane one. And we're going to move our bound, our drawing like this a little bit. Right click on plane one and select view normal to. We're going to zoom in on this region right here. All right, so let's go ahead and begin our sketch. So sketch. Once again, it's on plane one. Zoom in. So now to sketch seven. And we're going to create two vertical lines and a horizontal line. So let's start with this. So our first horizontal line, or vertical line, will be going up to here. Escape. We're going to have another line going from here to here. So notice we have a point one, two, three, four. So make sure you select this one, and then it's vertical. All right, now we're going to do another construction line. Oops, I messed up. And we're going to make this one coincidental to this point. So select this point here, this line, and coincident. All right, so now we want to select all three lines and make sure that they're construction lines. Okay, so we're good to go. So now we're going to select conic. I'm going to select this edge here, this point here, and I'm placing this dot somewhere on this section, on this horizontal line. So once again, conic point, other conic end, and then this conic end will be placed on this horizontal and hit enter. All right, so we're gonna make this tangent to this line. So select tangent. We're gonna make these two tangent. And we're making this one tangent to this line. And it's fully defined, so we're good to go. So go ahead and accept. All right, so we just created this item right here. So we're still 12, we're gonna do another drawing on the right plane. So let's make sure we go to the right view. It's the right side. Let's go ahead and hide our items that we don't need. All right, so in this case, we need both surfaces, the top, this side surface, and the projected curve. So we're hiding everything else. So we're hiding this one. Sketch two is not important. This is all we need at the moment, and we're on the right side view. So let's zoom in. So we're gonna work in this area here. Okay, so we're gonna be doing two splines. So let's do our sketch. Let's also hide plane one. So for our sketch, we're on a right plane. So select spline, click this edge here, and anywhere, deselect. Oops. So our spline, another spline, click escape, place another spline point here, 
And another spike point is going to go right here. Alright, let's give it some definition. We're going to add lines to our spine handles. Alright, so the spline handle right here in this line is tangent. This spline and this spline is tangent. This spline and this line right here is tangent. So now we're adding our dimensions. And But before we do, let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to select this point and this here. I'm going to pierce. So that's good right there. So it's looking a little bit awkward. Let's zoom out like that. All right, we're good. This dimension here, 4.75. 4.75, new dimension here, this is 5, another dimension here, this is 20, this one right here is 17.5, and then this line right here, we're going to add a vertical relationship, so go ahead and select vertical, and hide our constraints. So this is what you should be seeing. Remember to place this here, you need to pierce this dot onto this line here and go ahead and accept. For step 13, we're going to loft these profiles right here. So let's go ahead and show sketches seven and eight. So seven and eight is shown, so we're good with this. Let's go ahead and select loft, surface, new. So loft, surface, new. And our profiles will be this and this, while our guides will be this part and this part here. And remember, this is new. None, none, match tangent. So let's go ahead and include this right here, the continuity for the edge of the curve, actually. So edge of extrude 2, so open up this and match tangent, give it a little bit more curvature. We're going to trim our guides and we accept. So notice we created surface number three. Now for step 14, we're going to use the fill feature. So go ahead and open up this drop down menu, select fill. Kind of looks like a whale. So we're going to select add. So add edges is this one here, here, and we're not merging with all. We're going to merge with surface number three and make sure this is tangent and that this is also a tangent and go ahead and accept. So notice we are enhancing surface three. For step 15, we have our another loft that we're creating. So it's a surface and add. So go ahead and view sketches six and eight. So select six, sketch six and sketch eight. So now we can see this here. Let's go ahead and hide this curve. We don't need that. So go ahead and select loft. This is our profile, our other profile. Our guide is this one. And this is our other guide over here. All right, good. So we're going to match tangent. And for our end profile condition, we're also matching tangent. And right now we're merging with all. So go ahead and accept. So at this point now, we've combined surface three and surface one. So we only have surface one right now. For step 16, we're going to um, fill this in right here as well. So let's go ahead and view sketch number two. So select fill. So in this case, we're selecting here and here, but we're going to use add. 
This is position, position. Now this, this line will be tangent. This is also tangent, and this is also tangent. This will go ahead and accept. For step 17, we're going to mirror our surface. Oops. So go ahead and select mirror, click surface one. We're going to add, and our mirror plane is going to be our front view. And we're going to go ahead and merge scope with surface one. So go ahead and accept. Step 18, we're going to delete a few parts. So go ahead and select delete part, delete the construction surface, and delete our curve and accept. For step 19, we're going to enclose our surface. Select and close. Select surface one. And then we also want to use plane number one. So and then click accept. So now we've solidified our object. For step 20, we're just checking the mass properties to make sure we did this correctly. So go ahead and select the mass properties, select part one, and you'll be using this value in the self-check to check if you were making this correctly. So anyways, thanks for watching. Check out the other